Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be talking about DNA methylation. Now, DNA methylation is an epigenetic mark that is seen in, in epigenetics. Remember that epigenetics is just basically defined as chemical modifications that occur to your DNA or your chromatin that can alter gene expression without actually changing the DNA sequence. What DNA methylation is, is basically the addition of a methyl group to DNA uh, in the presence of DNA methyltransferases. So you have DNA methyltransferase 1 and DNA methyltransferase 3. DNA methyltransferase 3A is what helps create your, <clears throat> your methylation part in synovo, whilst DNA, DNMT1 is what maintains DNA methylations during uh, replication. Now, what you'd notice is that DNA methylation occurs symmetrically in both sides of the strands, as you can see, depicted by these M's. And then it is seen and found in CPG sites. A CPG site is basically an area where you have your cytosine next to your guanine. And in promoter regions, you have what are known as CPG islands. These are just clusters of CPG sites. And these uh, CPG islands can be methylated or highly methylated, which would result in an activation of a gene or lack of gene expression. Whilst on the other side, if they're unmethylated, it will result in increased expression or activation of a gene. Now, the other thing that's important to know is to understand what are differentially methylated regions. So let's assume that we're looking at um, an ASD and a non-ASD sample. Let's look at region one. In region one, you can see that the gray here, which is signifying uh, unmethylation or lower levels of methylation, uh, in this genomic region is seen in ASD samples, whilst in, in non-ASD samples is showing uh, black or, or methylation. This would then be a hypomethylated region. That would be our conclusion. And then a hypomethylated region is basically showing the opposite, showing uh, methylation in the ASD sample compared to the non-ASD sample. And then both of these samples are both showing um, high and low levels in the third and the fourth side. Now, for the sake of differentially methylated regions, what's very important is the, the, the regions that are hypomethylated, the regions that are hypermethylated. That is what we'll be looking at in genomic uh, or differentially methylated regions. Now, for one to understand or be able to identify cytosis, <coughs> sorry, for one to be able to identify cytosines that are methylated, it is necessary to do what is known as bisulfite sequencing. In bisulfite sequencing, you have what is known as bisulfite conversion. During bisulfite conversions, your unmethylated cytosine is converted to uracil, whilst your methylated cytosine is preserved and stays as cytosine. And then after rounds of PCR application, this uracil is converted into thymine, whilst your preserved cytosine remains in cytosine. The new strand that you get is going to show that for all the unmethylated cytosine, they have been converted to thymine, whilst the cytosine that's methylated stays the same. This is the main, main importance of doing this this uh, this method, uh, usually seen in all genome bisulfate sequencing. Um, yeah, mostly that's about it. Thank you very much for your attention.